This film is called Chase. Group number? Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. Jake's got work. Well, Achievement is basically the film, it's going to be a teen drama, a teen horror drama, uh, focusing on like character development. Um, and it's going to be uh, multiple victims. And it starts off with like a chase scene with a group of characters don't and don't know much about them to start with. Then one of them gets killed, um, and then through the film, so more and more of them get killed, with more people looking like the suspects. And right at the end, we don't know if the right suspect was caught or not, because it sort of hinted that it wasn't. But there was someone's been caught, but we don't know if it's right or not. Right. Uh, so left as a cliffhanger. Yeah. And there's still some people left alive, so a sequel is possible. That's um, the idea for our opening sequence. Yeah, um, basically we're just going to be following like a female protagonist who's going to be chased, like being chased down a dark alley by an unknown asylum. And it'll be like cutting between shots of her in the like, presumed past with her friends walking by their school, ending like with the female protagonist being caught. But the cutting rate is getting faster and faster, so it builds tension. And like the contrast between the two shots is that the past shots are really bright, like in the daytime and loads of laughing. And the shot where she'd be chased at night time just really dark and gloomy and like sinister. So the contrast between the builds and builds until yeah. And then the credits like start to roll, uh, which is like not, like more shots of another girl starting the day in a bright manner, whilst like cheerful music is playing. So sort of like ir ironic because we know there's some bad to happen, but she doesn't always. Can I stop you there? And I'm just going to do this because I've just noticed she's got 19 slides. And they've really a couple of them. Really yeah, but I just want. When's our next lesson? Thursday. Are you both here on Thursday? No, we're both Right, they're in Paris. Right, we're going to do it. Let's just go for it. We, we're all behind oh, you. Go for it. Sorry. No, no, no. Okay. Don't be sorry. It's, it, you should have gone. We should have got you to go first. But I realised you weren't um, here. These are the recce shots. Uh, they're just basic ideas. Taken really quickly because, like, our shots we're thinking of doing handy cam. Yeah, yeah these shots. Big, quite blurred. Um, uh, lots of like cutting and action, lots of running. This is, a, no, this is in Tunbridge, that location. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 So this will be like um, dark and the, the lighting was especially like I looked at, and this is like the framing. Um, which is taken from a shot on, I think it's screen, but it was it was a shot of someone running down, and we follow it, and it's just, and like the, the rule of thirds. What can the, th the problem you're going to have is that our cameras won't won't re re record the light in that way, so we're going to have to think about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is just like technical ideas. Um, that is sort of, sort of like iconography of dark and like quite sinister. Good. Um, yeah, more lighting ideas, like different shots we could do. Just like to cut in between really quickly, like close up to the mid shots, then close up. Um, and this is, I can't really see it very well, but this is bars, and it's a POV shot of the person who's chasing her. And then it's not like she's running down the alley and hiding, but you can't really see it very well. This bar. is really a recce, that, that's what you do at recce, you take the shots as if you are the camera, it's very good. Um, these are both yeah. our mood boards, and like they're just an outline of like what we thought we could like include in our opening sequence. Um, yeah. Nice. Davina McCall. What? Davina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've researched quite a few of these films, like um, Good Sense and um, The Shining. Yeah, and, they, and The Screen. Good. Um, oh, uh, like the findings from like, our research. From um, the I uh, researched I Know What You Did Last Summer, and it was clear like from the use of like, the music and like the lighting. That, that like helps to create like the horror kind of feeling like here you can see like it's quite dull mm -hmm. and like it's quite minor key soundtrack um also they in um yeah in i know what you did last summer it uh there's quite a lot of pov shots as well which i think helps like to engage like the audience and kind of creates this kind of like sense of like that you're feeling the same feelings as the character so good um yeah i haven't <laughs> no sorry, sorry. Uh, and then when looking at screen, it was like evident that the use of dialogue could also be very effective, like with the line, I, I want to know who I'm looking at, so we thought that maybe. Yeah, like, like stunt dialogue. dialogue to create some tension. Yeah, and then with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the use of like quick editing and like low angle shots, like this one here, like it's because of the low angle, the house looks like bigger and more threatening, so we thought we could like use that on the characters, so like. That if you had like a high angle shot of like the victim kind of person makes them look smaller and then yeah like yeah, so that's right yeah very good um, and then this is like information on like characters um, like the girl being chased uh, which down there 
She will be like wearing her school uniform, her hair will be down and messy, like getting in the way of her vision as she like runs. Her makeup will like be quite dark but smudged to show that she's like distraught and been crying. You should use some close ups on that. Yeah. And the pressure person, like, because of like, we're mainly going to be using POV shots of him, you're only really likely to see his feet, but it, yeah. like, so we thought we'd use like, kind of like army kind of boot yes. things. But if you do see like his legs, we thought we'd use like combat dark trousers, clothing. dark clothing. Yeah, and if you see like a swing in arms, like you see the knife, like, it's it's a knife. knife. Yeah, Probably. in his right hand, but we're not sure on that yet. And the group of school girls, so <laughs> they'll be all like, you know, there's, I think there's about five, we're thinking mm -hmm. maybe, and they'll be just like laughing. In and, uniform. Yeah, in yeah. uniform, yeah. and like have like, like hair and like, makeup done really well and that kind of thing and then the girl getting ready she'll be like in her pajamas she'll be like looking in front of a mirror in like a bathroom like brushing her hair cleaning her teeth doing so her makeup like, like, seeing along long to like the radio that kind of thing um yeah um, um, this is the market research over really quick um the very film genre is quite a lot of us than like the gangster thing and it's quite a few like horror mostly more than most um the antagonist should be caught, and a lot of them these two like construct um, contrasting views, mm -hmm. so we can play around with that maybe uh, in our treatment. These are the character settings. We do we think that it's most important to have a hero and antagonist, but it's we don't need a group of antagonists. So maybe don't focus on the whole group of people, maybe just on the one. Um, and the locations, which is quite useful, because we chose to have a dark alleyway and a school, which are two of the most popular ones. Uh, stereotypes, it can't be seen very well, but it's quite important, most of us have to have it. So we think that we're going to include some sort of jock, cheerleaders types to have stereotypes with our outfits maybe, and the costume. Yeah, um, that's kind just, of teen movie stereotypes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is just talking about what they like most, uh, looking at the tension brief shots which we put in with our quick cutting ring. Uh, characters and storylines are most important with quite a few people, so we can try and build it up uh, in the first opening bit. And yeah, we'll try and make them quite friendly. And people are like the ones that I can relate to, so they're not like perfect people, they're just sort of everyday, you know, people you'd like and you'd be with. Very good. Yeah, that's it. Okay, what can I say? I'm so glad you guys were absolutely brilliant. That was